Hey y'all, this is Benny. And that's where we are. And luckily we're not freezing out here in the shed. So I've got a couple of heaters going. Keeping it a balmy 72 degrees. But it hasn't gotten down to where it's supposed to go tomorrow night. It's gonna really suck. Right now it's only about 37. Only 37. <laughs> supposed to get down into the teens. And, and get a little freezing rain and maybe snow tomorrow night. That's really, really gonna suck. So, supposed to work tomorrow. Not sure. Not sure about it though. We can be making no deliveries on an icy road. Know what I'm saying? All right, so I got a, a mail call and update on the Finish It February Columbia. All week long, I didn't get home until dark, so there was no painting or any work going on on the on the shuttle. Hold on, Juniper. I've got this on a tripod, so we're going to see how that works out without me holding a camera and looking like a total amateur instead of just a half amateur. All right, first off, we got a little something for the Hawaiian pilot. Um, if it shakes, us, Juniper. I got some easy line from, uh, I guess it's Bobies, how you say that, uh, in Pensacola. I got the charcoal instead of the black because what? A pretty little girl. Because I think it looks more like cable than just, you know, solid black. It has a little, <laughs> it has a little gray shine to it. So that'll be, God damn it. Look, come here. Come here, wait a minute. Why are you going to do that right now? All right, has a little gray shine to it, I think. All right, wait a minute. Uh, let's see what else we got. Let me move this out of the way. Got some decals for the shuttle. Because I really wasn't happy with the ones that came with the kit. From uh, Warbird. And it's really a complete set. Minus the tile, the bottom tile decals. So you can see it comes with a post-98 and a pre-1998 since uh, we're doing uh, Columbia's final mission. Shall be post-1998 with the, uh, no, not yet, Juniper. With the, let me get my pointer here. <clears throat> with the NASA logo instead of this one here. This will go on. Oh, God damn it. Wait a minute. <clears throat> Let me finish this. Yeah, the worm will go on the side. So yeah, it comes with decals for the tail. I'm not really sure if Columbia had tail tiles. Comes with a strip of decals right here. Uh, comes with some for the top of the wing and all of. All of these, so you don't have to paint them. Also comes with um, the aileron decals, so you don't have to paint them. You don't have to paint this line. Uh, comes with the decals on the uh, horizontal uh, vertical stabilizer, so you don't have to paint these. But we'll see how that's going to look. Also comes with the little tiles right here. Now, I had, I taped off everything before I got these decals. I even taped off this, but I took this tape off. I left all the other tape. Uh, comes with a nice nose decal, the top piece. Uh, comes with a window frame. I don't know how it's going to fit on this old Ravel kit. We'll find out. Uh, also comes with a little decal that sticks around the main doors, the, the gear doors. So that'd be pretty cool. So let's look at the decals. Pretty damn nice set. I've used Warbird before on something else. Uh, I don't remember what it was. But if you compare them to the kit decals, there's pretty much no comparison. Flags are, are, are crisper on the Warbird. Um, just everything is better about it. It comes with the full decal for the uh, for the nose thrusters instead of just the nose thrusters. 
So, uh, yeah, it's a pretty nice set of decals. Comes with just about everything you need. And it didn't set me back a whole lot either. So that's, uh, we'll see how these work out. See vertical stabilizer decals, uh, that little hump on the back, I don't know what you call that. It even comes with a set for the rear, for the main engines. So if you get, <clears throat> if, you, uh, if you don't spray that right, it really doesn't matter. Nice. So let's take a look at the Columbia. I finally got her painted today. I got to do a little cleanup on it, as you can see along the wing and uh, along here, this area. She does have a gray nose, so I've got to fix that. This little band here, doing a little touch up on that. I used uh, I used a Krylon, uh, bright satin white. Kind of got a little leakage under the under the tape here. Columbia was the only one that had this total area in black, and that's that's not a screw up right here. That's supposed to look like that. Obviously, it's supposed to be a little more jagged. That's a little touch up right here. I got to do, uh, and on the back end, I have to fix these these little thrusters, but get that big tile decal, not cat hair, tile decal under here. Uh, I sprayed the flat black with uh, cheap prime source 99 cent paint from Lowe's and the damn thing fell one day and I got a little crack right here but uh, that's alright, I'm going to fix that. She's going to be sitting on her wheels anyway. Uh, probably permanently, permanently to the ground. And I'm gonna gonna do something with this black. I'm not just gonna leave it flat black. You know, I'll put a little Tamiya burn blue on it, maybe, and maybe a little Ushi to put a little, just a little ceramic look to it. Man, cat hair all over the place. So uh, I'm not too happy with these gaps, but this is an old kit. Actually, it's a 1978 issue, Ravel. Um, one of the first shuttle kits they came out with when they called this one Enterprise. <laughs> so, yeah, I got a little touch up on this wing to do. And the edges of Columbia were hard gray. They used a harder material on her edges. So, I got to do that. And then we'll get it together. I'm going to let this paint dry for a couple of days. Actually, because it's cold as hell, so that's going to dry for a few days. And then we'll, we'll start fixing her up. The engines on this kit leave something to be desired because, you know, there's nothing inside. They didn't bother putting anything inside. So I did paint them black with the same flat black, but I put a, put a little Ushi on the outside just to give them a metallic look, uh, put a ring around it, and use the Tamiya uh, burn colors, burn blue and burn red on the inside. I don't know if that's coming out. It's what you really can't, can't tell them. You really can't see it. Well, there it went. I didn't want it to be too, too blue or too burnt red so that's the way uh yeah I worked on it put a little ushi in it well let me get a note worked on it put a little ushi inside of it just to you know give it a metallic look so it'll be uh once I get that once that paint dries and get um Get a, get the get it cleaned up a little bit. And I can start putting the decals on it and put it on the, put it on its base. I've got the I've got a little piece of wood to put it on that I'm going to make it look like cement. I hope. Uh, might even put a blue sky behind it. And I've, 
you also saw the pictures and the patch, so I got to figure out how I'm going to put that on it as well. So that's it, and this is Benny, and that's finish it February. <laughs> A little update on the Columbia. Appreciate you watching, y'all. We'll see you.